All right, that clip that you just saw of Cole in the carrier was a little bit ago, but I didn't want to talk to the camera and risk him waking up. Also, why is my hand so red right there? I just noticed that. But I like, <laughs> I'm not good at like being on top of like what I vlogged. Like I feel like I don't remember <laughs> what I've talked about and what I haven't on the vlog, but I know I have talked about this like sleep strike situation. So I figured I would jump on here. It's probably been, I don't know, two, three days since I vlogged and do kind of like a little update because I don't know, we've tried a few things and I've gotten like suggestions and I've heard stories from people kind of experiencing similar things. He actually just started his second leap. He just turned seven weeks uh, two days ago and he started his second leap yesterday, the leap of patterns. So I guess this is when they start becoming a lot more of like aware of the world around them and they can see a lot more. And so therefore like they're, I guess a little more simulated and sleeping can be a little more difficult. But like I've mentioned, this has already been happening for at this point, over a week and we really thought this like gross spurt whatever this is was only gonna last i'm looking at the monitor by the way which is why i keep looking away we thought this was only gonna last for you know maybe a couple days like typically gross spurts are only a couple days long sometimes a week based on like the copious research <laughs> we have been like looking up sleep tricks and like what this could be and i do think it's pretty common around like six seven weeks for this to happen but We've been trying a lot of tricks and just kind of switching it up and seeing what works and what doesn't. And recently, at least for nighttime, he's always been a really decent nighttime, well, really decent compared to his daytime sleep, but he sleeps pretty well at night. Like we really never have to like fight him to put him down for bedtime, like swaddle him, I feed him and he goes right down and he stays down. The only kind of problem we have at night is that he just, he still is really gassy. He's getting much better about it during the day. Like he can pass it. And honestly, when we do all the tricks that we used to do in terms of like bicycling his legs and kind of like crunching him up and giving him like the little belly massage, a lot of those tricks don't really work anymore like for getting his gas out we have used the free to baby windy my husband does those that i'm like a little too intimidated to use that but that does seem to work sometimes but i think just the combination of him getting older and his like digestion his digestive tract in general like maturing and then also the probiotics which I don't know if I've talked about the probiotics on the vlog or not, but our lactation consultant advised that we start these really super expensive probiotics, but she said they would help with gassiness and his diaper rash, which I don't know if I've updated on that, but his diaper rash was insane. He had like multiple like ulcer rashes on his butt and they are all officially cleared up, which is crazy. That took like a month. It was madness for like a month just focusing on that diaper rash, but it is gone. We feel like we have conquered the diaper rash situation. Thank goodness because that was just so stressful and it just felt like we couldn't do anything about it so finally we did and i feel so much better and i'm sure he does too but she said it would help with that it would help with the gassiness probably with like the sleep situation because he would be less gassy and you know fussy in general and i think it is helping it's also really helping regulate his like poop situation because he would have a poopy diaper every diaper we changed was a poopy diaper like 99% of them and I guess that's like not super normal I guess newborns typically poop like one or two times a day which we didn't even realize and ever since like he's been on the probiotics for I think like two two and a half weeks now and now he's only pooping like I mean he has actually hasn't pooped for like a day at this point actually which I also know it's like normal for them to only have a couple poops a week like there's a pretty wide range of normal when it comes to poop in newborns but when he first started the probiotics he was on like a purge kind of situation which is also normal to kind of like as they're rebalancing their pH and whatnot for it to kind of be weird in terms of adjustment so he was having like really explosive diapers for like I don't know a week like almost every poop was a blowout. It was just, I don't know if it was just building up or what it was, but it was a lot, it was intense and it smells like the probiotics, the poops, and I literally gagged. Like I thought I was gonna puke a few times because the smell is just so horrific with the probiotics. Like obviously normal breastfed baby, like newborn poop doesn't really smell hardly like anything. Probiotic poop is horrendous. Like I literally have a video and pictures. I can put it on the screen here if I can find it of my husband wearing like a face mask while he changed the diaper because it was, it's just so bad and it would get on everything. We were having blowouts constantly, but we kind of expected that a little bit. Like we heard that might happen. And now it seems like he's more or less adjusted and now he's like pooping on a more normal basis. It's not explosive and it's not every freaking diaper, which is amazing. That's like another like kind of benefit we didn't even really realize. When we started the probiotics is like wow having less poopy diapers just makes diaper changes so much easier and faster and like that's <laughs> we love that because i honestly hate 
diaper changes so obviously just wet diapers take like no time to change and then we also don't have to worry about diaper rash quite so much because we think it was kind of his unbalanced stool like sitting on his butt that was causing the rash so having obviously more balanced poop but also less poop sitting on it definitely helps of course you know the moisture is still not good so we're still changing him but that's been a really great benefit of the probiotics other than the smell of it so anyway i do think the probiotics are helping quite a bit but i think what the problem is is that even though he's getting better at passing his own gas he goes down really well at night and we've actually started doing dream feeds as well which i was kind of going back and forth on whether i wanted to start that or not just because i know there can be a lot of benefits in terms of extending the sleep and buying yourself some more time in terms of sleep but also i know sometimes you know in terms of overfeeding and like them kind of getting used to it or making it a habit is not necessarily good so we kind of like accidentally tried it <laughs> one day we just sort of got him down for a nap like a little bit late because it takes a while to get him down sometimes like i said for bed he goes down immediately but for naps he takes forever to go down we have to rock him and swaddle him and do all this stuff and then but then once we do get him down we're like okay thank god and we leave him but i think the one day that we started it i got him down and it wasn't like until seven or something like that and i was like oh shoot if he like sleeps long like if he if his body kind of like turns on to like his circadian rhythm of a nighttime sleep because obviously at seven o'clock this time of year it's dark and all that kind of stuff this might turn into his first leg of sleep rather than or like his first leg of night sleep rather than a nap and like i mentioned before his naps are 30 minutes to the minute like to the second he only is able to sleep for one sleep cycle lately like he has not been connecting his sleep cycles and before he was six weeks, he would nap for one, two, sometimes like three hours. But at night, he doesn't have that problem. At night, he just sleeps and sleeps and sleeps. So once we passed the 30 minute mark on that nap, I was like, oh shoot, I think he's treating this like sleep. Even though he was in his crib, he was in like a different environment. He wasn't in the bassinet. I think he treated it like sleep because he was swaddled and everything like that. So that kind of turned into a dream feed because I was like, well, when we went to bed, I was like, well, we can't leave him in his crib because he doesn't sleep in his crib yet. He needs to be in our room and he needed to eat. And I was like, well, I don't want him to wake up on like an hour an hour after i fall asleep like that will suck so i kind of like gently got him up and he did eat while he was still sleeping and then i put him back down and he slept for another like two three hours after that so he kind of slept like a five hour stretch more or less obviously the feed was like two hours in so it was like sleep dream feed two hours later and then he slept for another three hours it was kind of great because we got like the two hours before we went to bed to like do stuff and then we got three hours of straight sleep afterwards so I realized oh that dream feed even though it was kind of accidental was kind of awesome so we've been doing that and it's been working really well and it's been helping him just get more hours of sleep in each day because you know newborns typically sleep like 14 to 17 hours a day and he was sleeping like barely even 10 11 12 some days so i was like whatever helps him get more hours of sleep in is what we need to do so we've been doing that the last couple of nights and it's been working amazing the only problem is that i think after you know a couple hours and while he's sleeping his gas starts to build up and he's not as good at like getting it out while he's unconscious and while he's sleeping and i'm sorry i'm talking so much but i don't know if anyone else is going through this or you might go through this or if you have gone through this i figured it was worth sharing either just to relate to you because i was feeling like a crazy person like why is my baby only sleeping half an hour at a time newborns sleep constantly incessantly we won't sleep all the time why is my newborn not and i felt like i had a unicorn of a baby and turns out i don't so that's partially why i want to share so that y'all can feel like if this is happening to you it's happening to me too and we're gonna get through it even though it is kind of crazy making sometimes like the fact that you only get 30 minutes at a time of like being able to get anything done and i'm spending half of it right now talking to the camera but the point is i think throughout the night his gas starts to build up and because he's sleeping he's not able to really like get it out as easily even though i do like hear him too in the night <laughs> so after like that first stretch of like you know kind of two hours and then three hours it starts like falling apart after that and it'll go down to only like two hours and then like one hour like it kind of like incrementally decreases and you can just tell that it's gas related because he's just writhing and he's making these noises and even when I'm feeding him he's like squirming and squeezing and I can just tell and I can feel him like tooting while I'm feeding him too so I know that it is gas for sure so I think that's part of the problem is if his gas didn't like build up throughout the night he would sleep like the three hour stretch and then theoretically another three I feel like we could get a lot more long stretches out of him if the gas wasn't happening so i try giving him gas drops before bed i don't really know that that does very much we're hoping obviously as he continues to get older and continues to be on the probiotics that that will continue to like slowly improve but for the most part i'm only getting up to feed him twice a night so it's really not terrible but obviously you know he's 
getting older and he's really big for his age so he should theoretically be able to sleep a lot longer he's the size of a three month old so he could even theoretically sleep through the night based on his weight so we are hoping to slowly see more improvement but it's just crazy that he sleeps like an angel at night like even last night ken was in bed and he's never really watched the dream feed before but he was in bed when i did it and he was like he saw me get him out of the crib and then bring him in there and watch him start eating while he was sleeping and then watch you put him down while he was still sleeping and he's like this kid will not sleep during the day and even me breathing too heavily wakes him up during the day but yet right now you can carry him around feed him and put him back down he doesn't wake up <laughs> like in the day he will not sleep for anything and then at night magically he sleeps like a rock for pretty long stretches and throughout whole feeding so it's kind of funny how he's good in one regard and then kind of completely off track in another regard but thank god right because i would totally rather have like really shitty daytime sleep and sleep well at night than the other way around so i'm not really i mean i'm a little bit complaining but i'm just glad that that's the this situation rather than the inverse of that situation but we recently just got literally this is the first time we're using it we just got the um magic sleep suit the merlin's magic sleep suit my mom's like next door neighbor told her about this for their kid that they just had i think their baby is like two months older than him this is what it looks like it's kind of like it's basically a weighted like bodysuit so it kind of has the same sort of idea of a swaddle in terms of like it makes him feel really like secure but he's not actually swaddled his arms down and he can kind of like lay out a little more and even though he gets swaddled at night and he doesn't mind it and he actually likes it i think that's like his nighttime sleep cue during the day he does not seem to want to be swaddled like he'll be totally fine i'll be holding him he'll be drowsy and then i swaddle him and he gets so squirmy ken has had the same experience he does not want to be swaddled during the day only at night again babies are so weird with their preferences so if these are kind of pricey i'll link them down below if you guys want to check them out because they do have really good reviews and like i said my mom's neighbor said like they bought this in the first night their daughter slept through the whole entire night so i was like all right it's definitely worth a shot so this is the first time we've used it we're using it for a nap right now not nighttime because at nighttime i still want to keep him swaddled just because that works for us but i was like well let's just try this for a nap and can put him in it and he was like not going down we tried putting him down in a swaddle wouldn't go down and then ken switched his clothes because he was in something that i think would be too hot to wear with this because this is really thick and like i said sort of weighted so he switched him into a different set of pjs and put him in this he said he barely had to rock him he like fell asleep almost immediately and then he was also able to put him down without him like getting all fussy like a lot of the times when that ken tries to like transfer him from his arms to the crib he gets kind of fussy or he wakes up or just kind of like comes out of the sleep a little bit he put him down kind of clunkily he said because he's like still not the best at transferring him like i said and he didn't like move a muscle so i'm kind of shocked that he fell asleep so quickly compared to when he was swaddled like five minutes before and he stayed asleep in the transfer because he doesn't usually do that so the actual test now will be to see if he sleeps more than 30 minutes so we literally have like a countdown because if he sleeps even like two minutes past the 30 minute mark then typically like that's a sign that he's gonna keep going and he hasn't moved a muscle like since we put him in this so i don't know we don't want to count our chickens before they hatch but we're like i said we're trying everything we have tried swaddling and not swaddling and different swaddles and different routines and rocking him and not rocking him and just letting him like not cry it out per se but just kind of like putting him down and seeing if he can put himself to sleep which is weird because at night he does at night literally like last night in particular i woke up i don't really know why i woke up but i checked on him i mean it takes me like i just had to lift my head up basically to look at him in the bassinet and he was awake but he was just laying there he wasn't fussing he wasn't crying he was just laying there and i was like okay and then i just waited and he just went back to sleep so like he knows how to self-soothe or whatever like he knows how to go back to sleep but just sometimes he doesn't want to do it so i don't know this kid's all over the place he's a dream at night but during the day we're still trying to figure it out so this is like attempt number six thousand in terms of like different swaddles and outfits and routines and cues and all this kind of stuff i swear at this point we've tried everything like everything you can think of besides having to like drive him around in the car to put him to sleep a lot of times we just have him in the carrier on us and that's like a foolproof way to get him to sleep at least we know that will always make him fall asleep so we do have like some things that are foolproof but obviously we don't want to wear him for every single nap because that still kind of limits what you can do and we'd like him to sleep more than 30 minutes that's also kind of the goal here is to get closer to you know an hour two hours like normal newborn sleep so we'll see All right, we're doing our annual uh, gingerbread house building, except 
It's not going so great. This guy's nursing. <laughs> he's just bobbling all over the place and not focusing. So I'm gonna help once he's done. Cool, this is your first gingerbread house. Pay attention. And speaking of that uh, sleep sack thing, Ken has approved of it. Excellent. He thinks that it's like actually making a difference. I don't know if this guy is so sure about it <laughs> either. But we're gonna keep trying it at least for you know a couple more days. He seems comfy in it at least. <laughs> Alright, well he wasn't really wanting to eat and then he just did the biggest grossest spit up directly not on the burp cloth <laughs> Right on my sweatshirt and all into my hair So I need to go take a shower plus it's all on him and hello we just gave you a bath and changed your PJs Oh dear Baby Do you just need a little bit of love for your daddy? Hi, honey. Hi. I gotta go wash my hair now because of your spit up. We're wondering if we should be concerned at his lack of pooping, which I don't think so, but I don't know if he, I mean, he's kind of gassy, so we're thinking maybe a poop is coming. Ken got the uh, basic infrastructure of the house together, and then I'm gonna do the decorating. I just <laughs> had to go get a shower because Somebody spit up on my hair. <laughs> Did you spit up in my hair? Can you see that? Are you looking at yourself? Did you spit up in my hair, baby? And it was like the like thick, chunky spit up. <laughs> It's not funny. He was like, I told him when I came downstairs why I had to wash my hair. And were you laughing about it? Even though it wasn't even funny? It wasn't even funny that you spit up in my hair, bear. <laughs> so he's just relaxing. I'm trying to finish doing this house. But this icing stinks and like nothing's sticking to it. So I don't think it's going to end up like this. We also have Hallmark on, of course. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. He smiles so much now. He started smiling, I don't know if I mentioned this, on Thanksgiving. And now he smiles all the time and it's the cutest thing. I literally like, it's the highlight of my day. Just like seeing him smile. And he has like really big cheesy smiles and they like stay on his face for a long time. And it's so cute. You are just so cute, baby. Yes. Oh. <laughs> that was a star. Oh, there we go. That's a little baby smile. That's like a little baby smile. Oh, so sweet. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Look at those legs just going, going, going. <laughs> what are you doing, silly bear? The legs are going. Where are you going on those legs? Are you running? Are you running, running somewhere? And what are you doing with these arms? What are you doing with these arms? <laughs> His face right now reminds me of when he was like a newborn, newborn, newborn. Like, literally a couple days old. He would stretch his neck out like this. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Oh, and you're so sleepy. Look at you go. Look at you kicking. You're just kicking it. Get it? Kicking it. So I got the dog put on here. And I think this is like the extent of the decorating because this red icing really sucks. And this, I mean, it comes out so slow and it's like basically clear. It's like hardly white. Um, so they were gonna, you know, kind of count our losses. What is it called? Cut our losses. And it's not like we really eat these anyway. It probably wouldn't taste very good. What the heck is going on with that roof? It was a valiant effort. It's like a dog bone themed roof. Cole likes it, right? It was your idea. I'm just you can't following. see from down there. It's not getting a good angle. Well, he's just giving me directions, and I'm following instructions. Yeah. Bear, did you sign off on this? <gasps> Tell him yes. Hello, I'm over you. <laughs> did Tell you him that you told me to do that. Bear? Did you sign off on that? I don't think that'll fly. <gasps> bear, tell him you thought it was a good idea at the time. <laughs> do you have a stinky diaper? <gasps> what the heck? <gasps> So many smooches! What the heck? Smoochy, smoochy, smoochy the baby! 